It's an outdoor walking park with uh, descriptions of each president on signboards. The park was spotless. A very nice place for the family and stroll your little babies around in their strollers. You know. Pretty neat. It wasn't in the best location, so it failed through the recession. When the park was finally closed, it sat dormant for probably two years or so, and a new developer came in. They asked if I could um, come and remove the statues they were putting a new business in, car business. Instead of going to the crusher, I brought them up to the farm, and there they are in their new home. <laughs> I looked at the statues and uh, said, you know, I think I can pick these things up and move them. They're 20, 22 feet tall. They weigh about 18 to 22,000 pounds. We probably spent close to 50,000 in moving the presidents down here over about a three week period. Uh, took about six men, 10 hours a day. So. Presidents are pretty isolated. Uh, even my neighbors aren't aware of their existence back here. The weeds have grown up around them. Uh, I'm sure snakes and alligators are all in them. <laughs> Frogs, they love them. Uh, the unusual part of uh, visiting President's Park would be standing close to these enormous heads. You almost feel they're looking at you the way uh, the sculpture did the work on them. It's, just, it's an overwhelming feeling to be next to these giants of men who represented our country and built this strong country we live in today. Obama was elected, the funds weren't available uh, to purchase them. And the original investors, they said they've done enough. They, they did get an Obama head, and a, it's a small one. A couple got dropped. I think uh, Lincoln fell over backward and uh, unfortunately broke the back of his head out. Uh, it's kind of ironic that that happened. There's a, a lot of interesting facts about the presidents that many people don't know. Um, Thomas Jefferson, he founded the University of Virginia. James Buchanan was the only president not to marry. Uh, Warren Harding, he lost the uh, White House China set in a game of poker. 
I believe uh, Martin Van Buren was the first person to use the phrase, okay. It was said that James Garfield could write a sentence with his left hand in Latin and a sentence with his right hand in Greek at the very same time. Grover Cleveland had to have his jaw removed because of cancer and they replaced it with rubber. Um, Ulysses S. Grant got a speeding ticket on a horse. Andrew Jackson had taught his parrot how to swear, and they had to remove it from his funeral to keep it from swearing. It meant a lot to me to preserve history and to be able to pass something like that on. I mean, I'm not love to find the means to build an educational park for our kids to come to from all over the country. I really want to do something with these guys. I mean, they, this cannot be their fate, sitting in this field and being crushed. Um, I do crush concrete and I don't want to do that. If I have to leave them here, it would really disappoint me. Uh, there's been a lot of effort put into saving them. Uh, I could use some input or some help maybe.